What's up guys? In this video, we're going to discuss exactly how to perform a modified Allen test. Are you ready? Let's go! What is the modified Allen test? The Allen test for assessment of blood flow was originally developed by Edgar V. Allen in 1929 as a non-invasive method of assessing the patency of a patient's arteries. Since then, it has been adopted as the modified Allen test and is used to check for collateral circulation of the radial and ulnar arteries in the wrist. The difference between the modified Allen test and the original Allen test is that modified Allen tests efficiently evaluates the adequacy of blood circulation at one hand at a time. The modified Allen test measures the competency and quality of the artery and should be performed prior to performing an arterial puncture. Here are the proper steps in performing a modified Allen test. Step 1. Have the patient make a fist. Instruct the patient to clench his or her fist in order to enhance the circulation within the arteries. If the patient lacks the ability to do so, close his or her hand tightly. Step 2. Locate the radial and ulnar arteries. Face the patient and locate the radial and ulnar arteries. The radial artery is located on the thumb side of the wrist and the underside of the forearm, while the ulnar artery is on the pinky side of the wrist. Make sure to locate the radial and ulnar pulses. Step 3. Grab the patient's hand. Using your right hand, slowly grab your patient's left hand. You can also use your left hand to grab your patient's right hand, depending on your preference. Step 4. Locate the pulse. Place your middle finger on top of the radial pulse and your pointer finger on the ulnar pulse of the patient. Step 5. Apply pressure to both arteries. When the pulses can be felt, apply occlusive pressure to both the ulnar and radial arteries to temporarily stop blood circulation of the hand. Be sure to tell the patient to relax his or her hand while doing this. Step 6. Have the patient open their hand. This is done to check whether the palm and fingers have blanched. Blanching means that you have completely occluded the radial and ulnar arteries with your fingers. The hand should have a whitish appearance in color. Step 7. Slowly release the pressure on the ulnar artery. You can release pressure on the ulnar artery while keeping the radial artery occluded. If the patient's hand flushes, meaning that it turns pink, within 5 to 15 seconds, this means that the ulnar artery is patent or has a good blood flow. This is considered a positive modified Allen test and you can proceed to stick the ABG at this site. However, if flushing is not observed within 5 to 15 seconds, this result suggests that the ulnar artery does not have collateral circulation and this is considered as a negative modified Allen test. In this case, it's recommended not to puncture the radial artery at this site. You should either try the modified Allen test on the other hand or move on to the brachial artery. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know about performing a modified Allen test. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you thought this video was helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button to support the channel. And be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. And if you're looking for more information on ABGs, you're in luck because we have some more amazing resources that I really think you're going to love. I will drop links to those down below in the description. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.